Radio Giornale Bellunese, now airing. Daily news from the Belluno province. Welcome to a new edition of the Radio Giornale Bellunese. These are the news from today, September 1st, 2022. The Marmolata Glacier could vanish in 15 years. Its size is only a tenth of what it was one century ago. These were the findings of Legambiente Scarvana di Ghiacciai. There was an accident yesterday morning in Kandaten. A 71-year-old man fell from a tree while taking photos. After calling for help, he was brought by rescuers to Belluno's hospital in intensive care. A car driven by a 19-year-old from Agordo went off the road and fell into Cordevole's riverbed. It happened yesterday, around 18.30. The driver was brought to the hospital, though his wounds are not severe. There was a crash between a car and a bus near Arcier. There were three wounded. 46-year-old Tommaso Munari from Ferrara has been missing since yesterday. He went out from Falcades camp in Eden for a walk but did not return. Road deer with tick-borne encephalitis. First case found in Belluno, a Ron Modolo. The Istituto del Profilattico delle Tre Venezie says this is not an alarm, but a reminder of the importance of monitoring the wildlife health. Passing to sports, hockey. Cortina was beaten by Fasta 2-1 in the third game of the Torneo Ladino. Tomorrow, the second leg, which will be decisive to determine the winner of the tournament's fifth edition. On Sunday, the first match of Alps League, with Cortina playing against Jesenice in Slovenia. Finally, cycling. On Sunday, in Belluno, the Gran Fondo del Dragone, amateur race starting from Piazza dei Martiri and ending in Colle del Nevegal. Participants will be both Italian and foreign. And that is all for this edition. We wish you a nice day in the company of Radio ABM, the Bellunese and Mondo Association's web radio. You just listened to Radio Giornale Bellunese, daily news from the Belluno province.